I've got my piping hot cup of McDonald's coffee that only cost me a dollar this morning as we walk to the front gates of the Elephant Trunk Flea Market here in New Milford, Connecticut, about nine o'clock in the morning. You know, I got this cup of coffee about an hour ago. It is still piping hot. I'm like still sipping it. Got two videos planned today, so we're gonna start here at the flea market, and then uh, you guys will see another video with this same awesome Pac-Man shirt on. As of the filming of this video, today's day, August 27th, Sunday, 2023. Getting here about nine o'clock in the morning, so we are gonna pay the three dollar admission fee instead of the ten dollars I paid the last two times I visited. Didn't find that it was worth it. Today's flea market looks pretty good, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna cut it short. But I'm sure we can make a good video. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something we never do. We're gonna actually start in the front. We're gonna start on the front and the right side. Let's let's change it up today. See if we can find anything by doing it this way. Duck, duck, <laughs> duck, cat. <laughs> So I did set a time limit today for myself of 11 o'clock. So it gives me two hours to look around the shop and see what we can find. So let's do it. Yeah. Anyone looking for a brand new sealed copy of Howard Stern's Private Parts on Peter. DHS? No. <laughs> WNBC. WNBC. Why the WNBC. In my mind, I'm hearing. I'm, it sounds like I'm saying exactly no. what you're saying. Now, here's something I can't believe. They're selling pot here at the flea market. It's unbelievable. Look at this. How could this be legal to sell this at the flea market? Unbelievable. I have steak I got them in London. Look at. We brought the Pee Wee Herman stuff out too. I think it was. Was it Cherry? I don't remember the name. I think it was. Was it cheery or chair or I feel like it was cheery? I've seen a lot of Simpson stuff in my life, but I have never seen this one. The Simpsons sing the blues. <laughs> Interesting. We got our first vendor here with some games here. This guy's here every week. But uh pick this one up. This one's a tough find. I got that. Believe it or not, I have two copies. Oh shit! Yes, yeah, I have I two think copies. Like that. Is, the is it really? On eBay right wow. Now. Rampage two. I wonder if I have that. I loved Rampage. Wasn't that the one we did the competition on on the yes. on the PlayStation yes, <laughs> one? Powerpuff Girls. I don't think I have Powerpuff Girls as much as I don't want it. I don't think I have it. So we are going to pick up two games here. We made a deal for uh, Rampage two Universal Tour. I don't have this one. And I was surprised not to have that one. I thought I might. And Twisted Edge Extreme Snowboarding. So we uh, did this for 20 and we did this for five. So two more games for the N64 collection. So cool dude. I um, got those two games from him. He actually had another game I didn't have. The Powerpuff Girl one for the N64. But, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing later today. I'm actually going to a video uh, game convention out in Hartford, Connecticut and doing another video there. So I want to be careful with my money and, and you know, limit to what I spend because, you know, there might be something really good there. And, you know, games like that there, people are probably just going to be looking to get rid of. Nobody nobody really wants that game. You know, this guy, this uh, reseller guy. Got a couple more uh, scumbag games here. Yeah, what do you got? You got anything good? I don't know. Some more 3DS. You got more Switch. I was telling somebody, I actually... Got a Mario Party 7 for GameCube today. Nice. You got a couple of good got Master System games. This one. Oh, that's cool. Two dollars and eighty cents. You get you, you give change. You wish. <laughs> I do give. Change. I'll give you. A, I'll give you an even three bucks. How's that? That is such a good deal from nineteen eighty. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you even back then it wasn't two eighty. Never went to Clarence. Right. I just love how it still has the hang tab on it. This was a nice day. Beautiful day. Yeah. We got some more Nintendo sixty four games. There are two in this case that I don't have. And that is the Clay Fighter 63 and a third, and then also the Bomberman 64. But I'm not about to shell out 260 bucks. This is one of those ones I'm gonna have to hope that I find loose. I so. And this is funny. Here, here you go. Gex 3. I picked that up very recently. Namco Museum. I have that one. 
and you just pull all these out. Pokemon Stadium, I probably have four or five copies of that. <laughs> and funny enough, look at that. Rampage World Tour. This looks awfully familiar. And the reason why it looks awfully familiar, you already picked it up. I already picked it up. <laughs> Let's see. That's awesome. There. Oh, you know what? No, it isn't. It's I got the second one. Another one. Let's see if I have this one. I don't know if I have that one. Oh, that's funny. Oh, look at that. Might be a rampage day. <laughs> All right, we made a deal. Would you have all that? You had 30. I had 30. You're getting it for 20. 20 dollars. Give me your money. <laughs> give, me my, you give me my dang game. <laughs> That is too funny. I thought I bought Rampage. I bought Rampage World Tour 2. Now I got I got two Rampage games in two different rows, like back to back. And he, he didn't have those out yet. He just put them out and he put 30 on it. And uh, he told me to do 25. I said, uh, 20 bucks? Sean's a good dude. So did 20 bucks for me. So I love Rampage. Rampage is a great game. I don't know how it is on the N64. I know it, it really sucked on the Wii. I got that and I was so disappointed. Oh, uh, which which one is the magic? You only get to pick one. Which one is it? It's gotta be it's gotta be this one, right? This is the shiniest one. Actually, that means more people have rubbed this one. Came across a couple games here. We got Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Who doesn't love Mario Kart? Vendors asking 10. We agreed on five bucks. Thanks, brother. You're welcome. Appreciate Enjoy. it. Have a good day. Got some cool stuff here. My little Michael Jackson album. And Turtles. Turtles are popular again. Back out in the movies as of the filming of the video. I thought these were interesting. Look at these. These are old. These are from 1979. They're actually in really good condition, especially this Fonzie bear here. Very, very cool, very vintage. 20 bucks, not something I'm looking for, but for the right person, these are really cool. I did a pass on the Michael Jackson CD. Guy wanted three bucks, reasonable. Two discs, I figured two bucks. I don't need it. If it was two bucks, I probably would have bought it, but for three, I don't need it. Lost. Not anymore, I found them, they're right here. I know my jokes are bad, but you guys keep watching, so they must not be that bad. Guy back there had some video games claimed to be the best booth here at the flea market. I don't know. It might be. I didn't I didn't find anything for me. But that's what he claims. Oh, Pac-Man. I do have my Pac-Man shirt on today. The vendor was asking three. I had two dollars in my pocket. I knew I had two because the other guy turned down the two dollars for the Michael Jackson CD. So you'll take two. There you go. I'll take Pac-Man. Perks I'm perfect. Thank you. I mean, how can you say no to this when you're wearing a Pac-Man shirt? I mean, you can't. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. It's got the uh, old audio video cables. This is going to be fun to hook up. These guys have a lot of great advertising pieces. Look at the size of that cannoli. And I love this. Look at this. From a taxi probably in the city somewhere. Eminem. Imagine just put that on your car and drive around. <laughs> That'd be absolutely hilarious. There's the Mickey TV. I love this TV. I have one at home. It's pretty cool. Someone has not pawed it yet. But look at these. These are pretty cool. Never seen these before. We are coming across our last row here on the right side of the flea market. But we still got the whole left side to hit up. I look at Twix left side, right side. Found some good stuff so far. It's a good one. It's not deep. But it's deeper back here than it's been the last couple times I've gone, which is pretty good. And... I skipped the last flea market here, which I think was good, you know, because it, it opens up more things. Dude, that shirt is awesome. That is an awesome shirt. It's got a Springfield shirt on. Love it. I'm not sure if you guys could see it in the video, but um, the vendor's uh, child was wearing a Simpsons t-shirt with uh, Bart Simpson on it with a uh, basketball. Uh, that shirt was awesome. Kid never watched the Simpsons. These kids are now, this is like when you see like a 15-year-old or 13-year-old kid wearing a Nirvana shirt. And they never, they don't know who Nirvana is or they don't know who The Simpsons is. Surprising. Mom watched The Simpsons and I asked her, I said, what's your favorite character? And I was shocked when she said Marge Simpson. No! Marge Simpson? Really? <laughs> There's so many good ones. So let me know in the comments below. If you're a Simpsons fan like I am, who's the best character? There's so many. Duff Man, Kent Brockman, Bumblebee Man. There, there's a lot of a lot of good ones. And then of course there's the, the family. There's Lenny and Carl, Mo. Who's your favorite? Ten seconds late. Ten year old kid wearing a Nirvana shirt. And they never they don't know who Nirvana is or they don't know who the Simpsons is. Surprise.
coincidences are weird. All right, so I just walked past Kat here, and Kat, this is like literally after filming the Simpson thing, and I mentioned Nirvana, and you're wearing a Nirvana shirt. So are you actually a Nirvana fan? Yeah. Now, you look young. Yeah. How old do you mind if I ask? 17. 17. So this is not the Nirvana generation, but you actually you actually do have an album, and you actually enjoy their music. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> this is cool. Look at this. I'm not a NASCAR fan. I'm guessing this. Yeah, this is NASCAR. But Alfred E. Newman was on a NASCAR? That's so weird. <laughs> I feel like we are starting all over again. We got the bigger side over here. We're going to have to double time it on this one because we have exactly an hour left. Look at this. Video games. We have video games. Really? No kidding. They probably freaked out. Unfortunately, all commons, but it's a good sign. First row, back row, and already found games. We're gonna keep going, see what else is down these rows. This is funny, this reminds me of like shows like Double Dare at the end of the show where they would win prizes like a Casio keyboard. Oh man, too bad this has a big crack in it. I would have totally bought this. Oh, it's so cool, what a shame. One of the vendors gave me a tip. He said there was a guy that sells jewelry down here. And Toro already went down and has some Nintendo 64 games. I didn't see him. So, you know what? I'm going to go back and go look. I was on the phone, so maybe I overlooked it. And I usually I go down every row twice. But, uh, you know, I don't know. And, there's, of course, there's a lot of vendors over here with jewelry. So, I'm sure maybe I didn't notice. Okay, well, we found them. They're saying a uh, jewelry vendor had some video games. And I think we found the video games we were talking about. See, it's good to know people because I just literally walked right by and didn't even notice these. So we'll see if we have anything. I don't know if I have Turtles in Time, so we'll put that one to the side. Aladdin, we got. Pretty common. You have prices in your head or do you have... Uh, yeah, my head. Okay. And what are you looking for? Like, what do you use to look them up for prices? Like how? Uh, you okay. Yeah, Seeing if we have anything we don't have. I love NFL Blitz. I, I know I have that. I'm already heard. A lot of stuff that I have. Let's see. It's got good games. They're just a lot of common games. Oh, I bought this. I remember buying this at an antique store. Another copy of Wave Race. We got a little stack here. Okay, we got Top Gear Rally. Star Fox 64. Another copy of that. Diddy Kong. But yeah, I don't think we're going to find much here. Third party controller. This is Austin. Austin, these are his games. Someone told me a, a jewelry vendor over here had games, and I totally walked past them, and we're trying to do a negotiate on them. So this is what we came up with. Um, he's got Super Smash Bros. We got Turtles in Time, Blitz 2000, Top Gear Rally, which these aren't, like, top-tier games, but they're games that are filling my collection, which he completely understands. WrestleMania 2000, and then this orange controller, but it needs a joystick. So he's asking 100 which is not a bad price, but I would, you know, I'd like to get a better price. I offered him, what I offer you, Austin? 65. 65. What if I came up 10 bucks? Would that do it? Slide this over. I'd probably go 95, but I really can't go anywhere. 95. Like oh. It sucks. It's games I don't need. <laughs> All right, we came up with a deal. He wanted 95. I asked him, I said, dude, can you throw in one more game? So. This is what we came up with. It's going to throw in uh, Ren Stimpy Vidiots, and we're going to make a deal at 95 bucks. That was awesome. I'm glad that I went back. So <clears throat> I asked him for Mario Tennis. He didn't want to do that one, but he did Vidiots, the Ren and Stimpy game. So that's cool. And uh, got the orange controller. So now when we find a, a fire orange Nintendo 64, if it doesn't have the controller, we'll, we'll have the controller. The stick needs to be replaced, which is pretty common. I'm not very handy, but I've watched some videos on doing it, and it doesn't look like it's impossible. So, yeah, cool. You guys probably also noticed there was a jungle green controller in that box. There, 
and I passed on that. And the reason why is because it was a third party controller and I don't do third party controllers, I only do first party and I'll show you what I mean. So when you were looking at that jungle green controller, that was the green one, it did not say Nintendo up here. It was a uh, third party. So this one is pretty cool. I don't think I have this color and I think I almost have them all now. We are down to the last 25 minutes here at the flea market. And here's something I haven't seen at the flea market yet, a Nintendo Switch. When I sold here years ago, I actually brought a Nintendo Switch, but unfortunately didn't sell it. These are awesome. Very nostalgic Garbage Pail Kids. Cool. Those Garbage Pail Kid things were cool. I don't really collect them, so I don't know. I don't need them, but they were neat. They were really cool. 20 bucks a piece. I don't even know if that's a good deal or not. He said uh, one of them is a Comic-Con exclusive, but never got into that genre of stuff. I don't know if I should. You know, these are like never ending like wormhole of <laughs> buying stuff. You can't just keep getting into more and more stuff. This is something I haven't really shown today. We are at the end of August. The Halloween stuff is starting to come out. And <laughs> I guess Tom the Turkey for Thanksgiving is coming out too. But yeah, <laughs> Halloween stuff is coming out. Look at look at this. Even Halloween Pez dispensers. I, these, I bet you these go in the dark. These are neat. It's funny, the second Xbox 360 I saw today, the first one was the white one. Didn't I don't think I even showed it. But got some games. Eh, don't really need a, uh, a 360, so going to pass on that. More Halloween. There you go. That's cool. Are these trick or treat bags? Or, tell me this is still candy in here. Oh, that's like the sensor that when he grabbed the candy. Spotted some Sega Genesis games. Unfortunately, nothing good. First uh, Genesis games today, but no good games. Today is clearly a Nintendo 64 day. Oh, I see one of my boys here's got a nice Mario shirt on. All right. Oh, look at this guy. What's up, Wow, I'll tell you what, you fill out that Mario shirt real well. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with something clever. Go ahead. I mean, you got balls on you. Dang. Here, three foot tall. <laughs> shirt. Tell me, I, I tell me, I can look. It is. Good. It is true. I am like three foot tall. <laughs> Measured me last week. I was actually three five. Oh god. It has been a awesome day here today. I got basically two more rows to go down. I was hoping that one vendor would be here. I didn't see my buddy Ralph, which he's usually here. So I'm hoping he's all right. everything's alright with him. Uh, so Ralph, leave a leave a message below. I was thinking about you, buddy. I was looking for you. I didn't see you. Um, usually vendors some, that show up weekly are in the same spot. So maybe he just has something going on. Um, but I was hoping another vendor would be here because I was talking to this one vendor a couple weeks ago, this guy Angel, about a gold N64. And he said he wasn't going to show up this week because uh, it was supposed to rain. But today's beautiful. So I'm hoping last time he was in this row. But... I don't know. I, I'd like to get that gold N64 to fill in my collection. We kind of, uh, not 100%, but we kind of talked about a price. So I'm hoping hoping to grab that and uh, pick it up. This vendor has such good taste. I have these, I have a bunch of these Ford gumball machines. These are awesome. I don't have one like this. This is pretty cool. I don't have a red one. Oh, last thing I need is another gumball machine. I have so many of these. So when you're looking for these Ford gumball machines, you do often see this one here with the scoop. There's a couple different ones, but this one here in the red, you don't see these as often. And it's got a different um, thing here. And I, these are way cooler. I like, I like this because the gumball would never fall out. Uh, but I got a couple of these. I got a chiclet one that comes off the square with a plastic thing. I have penny ones, I have dime ones. But I don't have one like that. But this has been, re it's, it might have been originally red. And I think it was because it's got this. I've never seen this before. But it's been repainted at some point. So it's, it's a shame. I got to say, I couldn't have timed this any better. It is 10.59. I said I'd be here for two hours, 11 o'clock. And here we are at 10.59, walking down the very last row. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a good, it was a good show today. I'm glad I didn't show up last week because uh, then that means there's more items here that I didn't see. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, check out the Germ Facebook page. And if you haven't, check out the uh, community page as well because we're doing some polls. And I think they're a lot of fun. So until next time, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.